Hey everyone, in this series of tutorials, we're going to go through how to develop a Python graphical user interface application from start to finish. So from the very point of designing it, designing the appearance, onto the coding and the logic behind the application, up until the point of deployment where we're going to release the application online and I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to release it in a manner that is easy for other users to just click on a link online and download the application and begin using it. So in this series of tutorials, we're going to go through a Python graphical user interface application that I developed called template. So this is template and this is how the application would look like if someone else uh, downloaded the application. So let's erase that. Okay, so this is template and basically what it is is an opportunity for you to write a template letter and be able to change just the variables that you want to for the next time. So instead of having to rewrite the application, rewrite the letter, sorry, every single time, uh, you can just change the variables that you want to and uh, the software itself or the application will automatically generate the letter. So let me give you an example. So let's say we wanted to send a cover letter. So let's say we said hello let's say we said Apple and my name is John Cena okay <laughs> so my name is John Cena uh, and I am applying for your let's say manager position okay it's just something general position um, kind regards John okay so this is very simple so so this would be our cover letter. Now let's say you have to apply to five different companies. Let's say you, have to, you want to apply to Apple, to Google, to Microsoft, to all these different companies. Each time you're going to have to change the company name and maybe there's different um, positions. So maybe the next time you're going to have to say sales or maybe the next time you just want to apply for a cashier position. I don't know, whatever it may be. So that can get annoying because every single time you're going to have to come back to this letter and edit whatever you need to edit for each cover letter or whether it's a text or whether it's an email if you're emailing some if you're emailing a group of people the same email but you want to make it personalized you're going to have to edit the variables that you want to be able to change so in instead of doing this so instead of so let's say we said manager position okay so instead of having to do that what template does is it allows you to declare variables so uh, another word for variable is just, uh, let's say, a, uh, a placeholder word, right? So let me show you. So instead of writing Apple, we can just write, so we can just write employer, okay? So, and that's the example shown here. So any word that you want to be able to change, you put it in these uh, pairs of arrows. So these two arrows here and these two arrows here. What that does is it lets the application know that this is a word that you want to be able to change every single time. So we want to be able to change the employer's name and we also want to change the position name. So here let's make this another variable position. Okay. And we just save the template. Once you save it, look what happens. Here you have employer position. So the application actually takes from this body of text the variables that you declared and it knows it's a variable based on these arrows. So for example, if these two arrows are gone, right, and we try to and we save temp letter, let's see what happens. Employer is gone. It thinks that employer is a part of the letter that you don't want to change. So but if we want to be able to change a word every single time, we put in those two arrows, save temp letter, and look at that employer is there. So what does this allow us to do? So now we can come back here, employer, and we write Apple, write position, let's say make the position uh, manager. All you got to do is press generate letter. Boom, the letter automatically generates and here it says letter copy to clipboard and save. So it automatically copies it to your clipboard and let me show you, I'll just paste it right here. Paste it, look at that. Just press command V and uh, you get the letter. So how is that helpful? So you might think or you might argue that, hey, for a couple of variables, you can just change it every single time. It's not a big deal. Just go in the letter and change it. But when you have five or six variables, it can get quite annoying. And also when you have to go into the letter or into the body of text each time, there's a lot, there's a greater chance for you to mess it up. Right. For example, if you want to change manager to sales, uh, that's cool. But let's say let's say you made a 
uh, let's say you made some edit here. I don't know. Let's say you were, uh, we want to change sales and we're getting, okay, so it had been like that and we want to change sales to cashier and by accident you went like this, cashier position, and you didn't realize that, oh, you took out the PO of position, right? So just some sloppy mistakes. Obviously, you would most likely read over your edits, but the point is there it's much more secure if you don't have to go into the body of text itself. So let's get back here. So if we press edit template letter, look at that. It shows back our variables and now we can edit. So every single time you want to change it. So instead of going into this body of text, you just come here and change it every single time. So if you want to say Google, I want to say um, sales position done generate letter. Look at that. It already generated it and it's copied automatically to your clipboard. So all you got to do is go to whatever site that you're applying the job for or if you're sending an email and just paste it. Um, let's see how, let's see what else we can do. So let's say we want to say my skills include skill one, comma, skill two, comma, uh, we'll just have two skills for now. And Okay. Uh, I'll put a period here. Uh, so we can say save template letter. Bam, look at that, scale one, scale two, they're all there now. So now if you wanna say scale one, we'll just say writing. Oh, that was scale two, okay. So in the scale one, we'll just say um, presenting. And then press generate letter, bam. You see how quick that is? So it becomes very helpful when there's uh, more than one or two variables. And we didn't have to go into the letter and have to erase things or, you know, uh, have a chance to mess up the entire letter itself. You have a template. All you have to do is edit the variables that you want to edit. So go back to editing. If you want to take get rid of a skill or you want to add skills, uh, it's really up to you. So that is what template is. And we're going to learn how to make template from start to finish. The other thing with template is the way I've deployed it is I've released a downloadable link onto my GitHub. So I'll include this link in the description, but basically if you go to my GitHub, uh, you can press this button and basically it will download template. I'm not going to download it because I already have it downloaded, but I'm going to show you how to make uh, basically a link page for you to download for other people to download uh, your application and then uh, show you the type of documentation or the type of uh, tutorial that I have here on my GitHub along with pictures, show you how to make uh, GIFs, right? So GIFs are really helpful because uh, they show the user how to use your application in just a few seconds uh, instead of having to watch a whole entire video. So show you how to make GIFs and show you how to include those into your GitHub and see you have the download link here as well. So uh, cool. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, so let's get started.